Punch the Timeline. You're listening to Punch the Timeline with Jared and Devin. Look, I forgot that Red X gets introduced in this shit. I've been waiting for this shit since Teen Titans, the animated series. What we're now joining in progress is another episode of Punch the Timeline. This one, totally different than any other. There's no outlines. There's no guidelines. We're just we're just riffing here. Fucking send it. Full sail. We're talking future state. For those not in the know, future state is DC Comics. It was supposed to be called 5G, like fifth generation. And it was going to be like, this is the next iteration of all these heroes. What you're going to find out is that we don't like it. Oh, I like certain things here and there. There, it's it's hit or miss, hit or miss. Because but let's put it this way: the thing that I was most excited for is the one that they didn't actively promote on any of the covers. <laughs> okay, so what happened is in Death Metal Dark Knights, they, which is also difficult to care about, or follow like just rick reading it is painful they saved the world the the universe is saved and now there's not a multiverse there's an omniverse and the dc universe basically this is their way of saying everything that's happened has happened there's no like continuity like there's no like post-crisis pre-crisis new 52 like all that stuff happened it's just like, hey, there's a whole bunch of Earths now, so everything matters, everything has happened, everything is basically unerased. And now, let me just grab one. Future State takes us into the future. Not sure what year, just the future. The multiverse has been saved from the brink of destruction. With her- victory comes new possibilities as the triumph of our heroes shakes loose the very fabric of time and space from the ashes of death metal comes new life for the multiverse and a glimpse into the unwritten worlds of tomorrow. So basically we've got ourselves a little age of apocalypse kind of thing where it's like, Hey, here's an alternate world. Here's an alternate situation and uh, forget everything, you know, here's some new stuff. So how do you want to do this? Do you just want me to like hold up a comic and just be like, what did you think of this one? Yeah. All right, here, we'll start with this one, which is arguably my least favorite. The flash. Oh, oh, wait. I don't have that one in my hands. Um, I hated it. It sucked. It, 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 like, why why can't... is Wally always the bad one? Fucking Jeff Johns has ruined Wally, and for years now, Wally West is not the focus of the Flash books. Wally was lost during New 52, and then he murdered people in Heroes in Crisis. It's just like... He's he's the whipping boy. And I hate it, and I hate it, and I hate it. Yeah, they, they made him the villain again. And I'm really tired of it, because Wally is my, my Flash. I like I like Wally. Wally will always be my Flash. I don't care about Barry Allen. Barry Allen should still be dead. Yep. Um. So now, are we going to... Do we want to move on to the next one? Are we yeah. done with that one? I yeah, feel like we're there's just, not much to say about it. We're just glossing right. over. Superman and Metropolis. Featuring Jonathan (sighs) Kent. Um, I felt like this one, I'm actually glad I waited to read this until after I finished Red Sun, actually, because of the whole bottling a city thing. I I guess I left some of my future state books in the other room, but yeah, I just, I didn't like that one. I I don't have anything bad to say about it, but I just didn't care for it. Yeah, it's, it wasn't necessarily bad. It was just like, it's, let's put it this way. I'm not going to want to read the next issue of the flash i would read i would at least read the next issue of this out of curiosity to see where it goes agreed i also kind of dig the capeless suit that might just be me i mean i've never I've been a thing for capes that's why nightwing's better i can roll with it Inter- interested enough to see where it'll go fair enough I, I don't give two shits about the flash yeah same. um the next one future state wonder woman did not pick it up it was um it wasn't anything special. I'm noticing in a trend. Mind, in my mind, it just wasn't all that. In tr- I, I don't have anything good or bad to say about it, which is it's it's kind of hard. Like it wasn't. It didn't keep me. I'm not going to pick up the next one. I'll be honest. It's it's not interesting enough for me to pick up the next one. All right. 
Fair enough. Like it wasn't bad, but it's not interesting enough. Next, uh, please. Then we had Future State, the next Batman, Ugh. which actually had multiple uh, appearances from different characters in it, and it was the other appearances that I liked more than the actual Batman book itself. Yes, some of these bigger books have backup stories. Um, so, like this one had Katana in it and the Outsiders, basically, which was okay. Like that was better than the main story. Oh, easily. This is. I liked Katana's. I liked Katana's redo. Is this? I thought she looked pretty fucking cool. Which Fox is this? That's Batman. It's Tim Fox. He's Luke Fox's now brother. Even, now I'm so fucking confused. That shows how little like. So is the other brother Batwing? Yeah, it's Tim. Tim is the shithead, the one who like disappeared. No. Well, Luke Fox is the is in uh, one of the books. He's in Grifter. Yeah. Or he's in the appearance with Grifter, where he says he was Batwing. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I don't have that in my hands. The the next Batman number one. Also, um, Jared, you may not know this, but at the end where they bring in the Arkham Knights, um, whatever her name is, the girl in the Arkham Knight suit, the helmet is a direct pull from uh one of the games, actually. One of the Arkham games. Nice. Which is, spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't played this, this game has been out for six years. You can probably have already had it spoiled for you. It was actually Jason Todd. That was their game that they brought Jason Todd in with, and he was the Arkham Knight. Yes. And that was his helmet. So they just decided to reuse that, which was cool. But so The best have... part of this book was not Batman. <laughs> so I have two piles in front of me. I have the pile of books that I don't like, and the pile of books that I did like. And so far, none of the books you've mentioned have been in my like pile. Um, there's only, out of all the comics that I have, there's only two of them I have yet to read. And that's Shazam and Catwoman. I didn't get either of those. So I'm move- cur- I, I like Shazam, so I'm curious to see how that went. Moving on, Dark Detective. Now, this one I liked. This I one, liked Dark Detective. This, I did. This one actually had... An interesting concept. Now, all these books take place in the future, and superheroes are banned. And there's the the magistrate, the evil. You know, there's this force that's taking out all the old superheroes. Totalitarian Big Brother. Yes. So this is Bruce Wayne, who everyone thinks is dead, still doing his thing as Batman, which was interesting to me. And this had a grifter backup. And he's dirt fucking poor with no money. Yes. So we've got a, yet again another street level Batman. And you've got Grifter, who's just Grifter. Like that was, I love that. I love this book. If anything, you could get rid of Batman and just have given me the Grifter part, and I would have loved it. Yes, agreed. That's that was. Like, the... I think I do like the Dark Detective a lot more than the next Batman. But if you had just given me Grifter, I would have been perfectly happy with that. That would have been like the. That's like because of that. That's almost my top book. Yes, I agree with you a hundred percent. Just because of Grifter, who isn't even on the front cover. What else you got for me? Do we want to talk about this week releases or no? Yeah, I've got them. Well, because your boy is a nerd, I picked up Nightwing. It is in my like pile. I got this yeah, one. It is in my like pile because I'm interested. Oh, I bought that copy as well. You got two copies. Okay. I got two copies because I wanted both cover art. But I've been seeing the variant cover on my Twitter feed since it was announced by Scott. So I was like, I have to pick up this one. But uh, I like the Nightwing redesign. It's basically the same, just with a little bit more armor. Also, the fact that at one point he literally just throws one of his fucking batons into somebody's face and perfectly brings it back to him makes me happy. But uh, I'm interested to see where his little storyline's going to go since he's kind of picked up as the, like, basically the leader of the Bat family uh, because they all think Bruce is dead. Yes, and there's... There's some interaction with the next Batman. There's some, uh, there's, there's, there's Batman. There's Bat family interaction. He breaks that dude's femur like it's nothing. <laughs> yeah, he, this is a Dick Grayson of, he's clearly shaken by his mentor's death that isn't actually a death. Which I guess they should probably indicate when these things are taking place because his costume in Nightwing is totally different than his costume in Titans. Yeah, I've, I've. Like I said, I don't I don't have Titans yet. I can't find it fucking anywhere. So I ordered one online for way overpriced, but I don't care because I want it. I want that physical copy. It brings in Red X. You're going to have to talk about 
whether you liked it or not, because I haven't read it yet. It takes place where the Titans... I don't want to spoil it for you. It's interesting okay. because it has most of the Titan members in it. There are flashbacks. There, there's The Nightwing costume is Nightwing, but with Deathstroke colors. Yeah, I noticed that in the some of the interior pages of some of these other books. And Red X is indeed in it. And the last oh. page... The last page will will make you stand up and shout. In anger or happiness? Happiness. You okay, will, thank God. You will scream, let's fucking go. Okay, cool. Well, it'll be here at the beginning of February. So. <laughs> God damn, dude. Just get the Comixology version. I'm, I'm going to get the Comixology one and read it. I just didn't have time before this to do that. So we will. Pu- I'll throw in an excerpt in our next recording of what I thought. All right. Something to look forward to. Okay. okay, what's next? Catwoman, which I haven't read yet. Haven't bought it. Shazam, which I haven't read yet. Don't care. There's a lot of shit happening in my life right now. <laughs> the Justice League. I just read that earlier. It is in my couldn't care less pile. Yeah, yeah. Just, I didn't I, even read the Justice League Dark backup. It just didn't do it for me. I was reading it, and then I just kind of went, eh. You know what really turned me off from it? The White What's Martians. That? Yeah. Because I had flashbacks to the Justice League where Grant Morrison was like, White Martians! And everybody's like, what the fuck's a White Martian? So. Oh, Grant Morrison. What else you got? You got anything else? And then uh, the last one I have for my physical copies is Robin Eternal. Now. Whoa. Yeah. I like that one. I liked it because you got Robin. It's Tim Drake, which is the proper Robin. You've got spoiler in the I don't end. I remember her hero name spoiler no not spoilers uh that other girl darcy whatever her hero name is but i thought this was cool it talks about the lazarus pit and all that fun stuff i like the the premise like if you're going to give me some sort of future robin like i like the ending because it's like (laughs) oh yeah just him covered in fucking Lazarus goo. I will buy, I will pick that one up. So of the ones that I have, that I've read, I have exactly three copies in my I'm interested pile. I have four. One of them is Teen Titans, which I don't have. I gotta get it. You will enjoy it. You will text me about it immediately. I will. Now, so I'm gonna... now there's a couple that you have that I don't have, and that's because... One of them you told me just to not bother with. Yes, sir. Green Lantern, Future yeah, State. You gave, me, you gave me the rundown of that. And that's um here that's you could not make a more boring comic by the sound of let it. Let me let me adjust my microphone for dramatic oh. effect. Okay. Everyone he's done it. Rant time. Devin, tell the people what you see on this cover. Uh, so what I see is a ring shaping the outline of the Green Lanterns with a bunch of rings on the ground smoking. Now, what would you think is going on in this book? Their rings are fucked? It is. Nothing but. Half a book. Some sort of... I like. I, I was flipping through it and I was like, I can't. I can't read this. This is supposed to be a Green Lantern book and you have nothing Green Lantern about it. It's Jon Stewart and it's just, I don't care. The backup is Jessica Cruz, and she's on a space station, and the Yellow Lanterns show up, and she battles them without a ring, and then she gets she gets a Sinestro Corps ring. Kind of interesting. There was a humorous Guy Gardner backup where his ring dicks out. Everybody's rings dick out. It's Green Lantern, and no one has With a no ring. Powers. If anyone out there likes Green Lantern, the Future State Green Lantern, I challenge you to tell me why. I should buy the next issue of this because this was $6. Like these are, if it's got a yeah, back, these are the most expensive comics I've been buying. If these have backup stories, they are seven, six ninety nine to seven ninety nine. And if you get the, if you get the variant cover, that's cardstock, you're paying an extra buck. Yeah. Like my Nightwing one, which is actually the Nightwing one is only $5. Because it does not have any sort of backup in it whatsoever. So you, your variant Nightwing cost is... I mean, you might as well have just punched me in the stomach and taken $6 out of my wallet. I don't usually throw comic books away. Oh, I no. might throw this away. That's I, bad. 
I mean, I mean, I would actually recycle it because I'm responsible. But I would remove this from my household in a not pleasant way. You can use way. it for a paper mache project. Oh my god. The other book I have is Superman Worlds of War. Another book that I was just like, I was flipping through it and it just wasn't, I just stopped reading and just started turning pages. Again, $7.99 down the drain. I am yeah, not. I saw that one and I, uh, I, I was not interested. I am not impressed. Give me my, give me my old books back. Give me, this, this goes on until March. And that's also not to talk about the fact that we're, there were a couple that we didn't pick up at all. Yeah. We didn't pick up Harley Quinn. We didn't pick up Swamp Thing. Like, which one of my comics was it that had that whole fucking breakdown? They all have the so list. Everything that oh, it is. Coming up is Aquaman, Superman, Batman, Dark Detective number two, Legion of Superheroes, Suicide Squad, and Superman versus Imperious Lex. To quote Tommy Lee Jones from The Fugitive, I don't care. I will, I will be picking up Aquaman. Nope. Out of out of respect, my my friend that got me Red Sun, his favorite character is Aquaman, so I have to pick it up just to see if they did his character dirty, so I can tell him to not bother. <laughs> that is the only reason. And then uh, I'll pick up Dark Detective number two. Yeah, because I think it's going to have Grifter in it. So <laughs> that and those in my pile of I'm interested anyway. So, but like of the ones that we, the ones we did not pick up, we did not pick up Harley Quinn. We did not pick up Swamp Thing. Uh, we did not pick up Kara Zor-El Superwoman. We did not pick up Superman Wonder Woman. I did not pick up Immortal Wonder Woman. I did not pick up Superman Worlds of War. So there's quite a few that I didn't even bother with. There are so many <laughs> books that it's just like, who thought this was a good idea? It's not. <laughs> like I said, once we finish, well, I already know I like Teen Titans. If you like it, I know I'm going to love it. Because yes. there's stuff in there that I grew up with as a child. Because Red X, this is his first comic book appearance, so I'm going to lose my shit. So there'll be at least four. I've got two here that I haven't finished that I'm going to read. And I will give you my thoughts on them. And if you don't want to buy them, I'll let you borrow them. <laughs> that way you don't even have to waste them. <laughs> Unless I'm just like, oh, fuck, this one's good. But right now, I have a whopping three comics in front of me that I liked. And a whopping... Yeah, if this was Rotten Tomatoes, their rating right now would be like twenty two percent. It's it's bad. And that that's not that's not critic reviews. That's fan reviews. Yeah. Let's talk about something a little different. Have you got to dive into DC Universe Infinite? I have not been able to yet. Uh -huh. I'm very actually here, you know what? Let me pull it up right now and I will give you my there we go. Oh, it's a lighter theme. I hate it. You can change it to a dark theme. Good. It's too bright. Um, they added Black Label. They added some Vertigo books, and they added Milestone. I'm actually really excited about the uh, the Black Label stuff. Yeah, see, like this all looks awesome. The videos are gone, but this is more of a comic book app. I'm I'm, I'm excited because now it's like Rorschach and stuff's going to be on here too. Yeah, the the wait time for new books has gone from one year to six months, which is a really noticeable like time decrease. Yeah. I think they're trying to keep up with Marvel. Yeah, Marvel's kind of kind of running that party pretty good right now. So, here's what I think should be next, just to do something totally different. I propose we read Hitman. Okay. Have you ever read Hitman? I actually don't think I've ever read Hitman. <laughs> Are you talking 1996 Hitman? 1996 Hitman written by Garth Ennis, art by John McRae. They took this... Hold on, let me save it. They took this this annual storyline that just absolutely tanked. Like these aliens were attacking people and if they like they would like drink your spinal fluid, but some people survived it and they got superpowers. Hitman was one of those people, but it got turned into this like really like street level Gotham City based, Garth Ennis humor based book. Well, let's say cuz issue number 1 has a uh, straight up has a picture of Batman like over the dude. I want to tell you one little thing that will make you want to read this. Batman punches Hitman in the stomach, Tommy, and he fucking pukes on him. <laughs> oh, the vomit will get me every time. Yeah, you got me. Because there's so many things in this book. Like, if you look right here, number 11, 
You've got Green Lantern, Cal Rayner, Green Lantern, and he's oh, hanging. Oh no, it's Cal. Cal and he's hanging out with them, and they're just like they're giving him shit, and they're like, "What? You can't, you can't hang out with the Justice Club?" And he's like, "It's the Justice League." And they're like, "Yo, you can't. They don't want you in the Justice Club." And he's like, "I'm in the Justice League." Like, there's minimal crossovers. Oh, and then issue number sixteen. He gets he's getting stepped on by Catwoman and he just looks so fucking happy about it. He's like, hell yeah. This book is amazing. This looks like a fucking fever dream. This is a I love it. Garth Ennis book. And if you like oh, Preacher Superman's in one of them. Yeah, if you like Preacher, if you like Didn't he write the boys? If you like the boys, he yes, he wrote the boys. That'll make us laugh. That'll take us away from superheroes for a minute. I didn't tell you this. I found out that one of the guys I work with, his father-in-law writes comics that are published. Go on. Uh, He writes a comic called The Bobcat. The Bobcat. And it does not really have any issues. It's only six issues so far. But it's all about... uh, It's all about Cherokee... Native American lore and the fact that they uh, totally ran into aliens. And he said he was going to try and get me a copy number one so to read. It's on Comixology. Oh, damn, I did not realize. He said he was going to get me a physical copy, and you know how I feel about physical copies. But yeah, I figured that's a cool little bit of information. Shit, we'll add that to the list. Collect oh, and then guess what I fucking picked up at our local comic store today? Speeding Ball Comics in Norman, Oklahoma. Speeding Ball Comics in Norman, Oklahoma. In the, re, uh, in the newly added back orders that they do from time to time. So I don't know if it'll be good or not, but it had me curious. The very first issue of Ghost Rider 2099. Oh, wow. That's, that's a, fucking like holographic and shit. That's a blast from the past. That book sucks. Good. I want to read it. <laughs> it's like one of the worst 2099 books. Good, I want to read it. <laughs> Sometimes um, I like reading bad stuff. I noticed in the background your Court of Owls mask. Yes. It's I you want this right now, I but I do have it. I started reading Court of Owls. It's so good. I We am, need to do a pod on it. We're trying to get away from Batman books. We need to do a podcast on Court of Owls. <laughs> I agree with you, but Court of Owls is just so good. It's like the best book to come from New 52. <laughs> That's because they just kind of threw their... They were like, yeah, it's New 52. He's kind of got a different costume. Fuck off. It's so good. It was kind of predictable. Like, I knew that that rich guy was... I mean, yeah, but it's still good. So, really, what we're trying to say with this whole podcast is caution with Future State. Like, really, really think about it and get some opinions before you purchase. And you know what? I'm I'm not... I'm the person that's like, no, if you're going to go to the comic store, buy the fucking comic. Don't sit there and read it like a jackass. Maybe flip through some of the pages. Maybe just, just take our bit. word for it. Maybe, maybe I'm going to yeah. throw these on Twitter. I'm going to put our reviews on Twitter. Like, don't mess with these books. Buy these books. And spend your money at the local comic shop on something else, like a back issue. Or try something new. From a different company because... Like Department of Truth. Like Department of Truth. We need to do something about Department of Truth. Yeah, we're up, they're up to... When does the fifth issue come out? January 27th. I don't remember now. January 27th. We issue might, 5 comes out next week. We, 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 we'll do a first we six. Into a, I was about to say we can do a first six for this for this comic. That There's written in stone. We've got, we've got at least two or three episodes planned just talking. Our, our hate of future state has planned our podcast for the next three weeks or the next say, three we're gonna episodes. Have more future, we're going to have to have more future state to talk about because it's, it's going to, we need to follow up on the ones that we thought were interesting. Agreed. I guess technically I need to make, hold on. I guess technically I have to have a third pile because I did say that I wanted to see what was going to happen with Superman and Metropolis. So it's in the main. So I guess it's, it's there's I have three that I'm like, yes, I'm interested. I have one that I'm like, I'll give it one more. And then I have the ones that I'm like, I couldn't give two shits less if they made any more. Yeah, same. We're, we're in the we're in the same boat here. All right. So in closing, 
Proceed with caution on future state. Agreed? Let's say don't don't all out don't. Some of them are interesting. Don't on most of them. Yeah. Don't on most of them. Oh, Mr. Miracle. I'm I've got my DC universe on my second screen and it's like popping up. It's like Mr. Miracle, which was Yeah, I'm just gonna up. Oh, one thing I wish that they would do is I wish they would add a button that just says surprise me and it brings you to our random fucking comic. Well you can sort by just, you can sort by era. So you could just put like Bronze Age and then like see all the Bronze Age books pull up. That's how I found Batman and the Outsiders. There's a Batman and the Outsiders podcast. I mean Dude, what? There's a Batman and the Outsiders podcast. Wait, you're not talking about us, right? No, not us. <laughs> I, Wait, what's the name of this podcast? Hold on, let me jump on my Twitter machine. Because I would listen to a straight up Batman and the Outsiders podcast. We talk about it, but I feel like the, you make it sound like this is way more of an official. To Batman it's and the called podcast. Outcasters Bato Podcast. Amazing. I'm going to have to look into this. And mad shout outs to the Rambling Geek because we've been interacting on Twitter and they've been promoting us and can't wait for their next episode. The Rambling Geek. Outcasters. Check them out. This has been a very frustrating punch the timeline. Bunch of comics that we paid a lot of money for that I wish I hadn't paid a lot of money for now. I hope our editor has fun with this. I'm sure he will. He's the best in the business. You probably aren't listening anymore. This has been Punch the Timeline. See you next time when we read Hitman. Peace out. Social media. You can follow me on Twitter at Grumpy Old Jared. You can find the podcast on Twitter at Timeline Punch. And you can follow the podcast on Instagram at Punch the Timeline. You can find my social media on Twitter and Instagram at Good Guesswork. And you can follow me over on Twitch.tv as Good Guesswork. I stream over there every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Feel free to drop by and say hi. Social media! Thanks for listening to Punch the Timeline. Are we just going to have an entire fucking like snip of just us saying Batman instead of the whatever superhero it's supposed to be? Most likely. That's not how we do it in Texas. A not in Texas production.